Hey there guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Notion Enhancer to give Notion your own look and feel. So what you're gonna wanna do first is you're going to want to go and type in Notion Enhancer, and then you can put Mac installation or whatever. You can just put installation and you're going to get this GitHub page right here. Okay, so just wanna click on that. And it's basically just a thread that talks about uh, how to install this. So if you want the you know, the, the version where you can just read through, definitely by all means read through and then come back to this video when you wanna just see how to actually use the app. All right, so what you wanna do is you just wanna download uh, the zip file to start, okay? And to download the zip file, you're just gonna click right here and download zip. Okay, and you should get that Notion Enhancer download down there. And you're also going to want to install Node.js. So type in Node.js. I'm just gonna type in Mac installer. You can type in Windows installer if you want, um, if that's what you're using. And you just go to the Node.js page and download whichever installer you want uh, to use. So if you're on Mac, just hit that and then go through the installation process for Node.js. Once Node.js is installed and you have the Notion Enhancer downloaded, you're gonna wanna go down through these instructions here and you're gonna wanna uh, copy whichever uh, one of these you are you know, using. So for Mac, I'm gonna copy this command line and uh, Mac specifically um, you're going to want to go up here and type in terminal hit enter and then you can paste it here and hit enter but first make sure your notion is closed if notion is open this will not work and you also need to make sure that you're on the notion desktop app for this to work okay then you're just gonna hit command V paste that code in that code will be down in my description if you want that code um, I'll also have a link to this github page okay then you're just gonna hit enter and type in your password. It's not gonna show up, it hides it when you're typing in the terminal, um, but just know that it is there and then just hit enter. And it's going to load everything in. And then you should get this little message here. This has added X amount of packages from X amount of contributors. Um, that's just based on how many people are currently part of the Notion Enhancer ecosystem that are adding to it. Basically, it loads all those in for you. And then we're gonna open Notion back up. Voila, as you can see, I have this beautiful new Notion theme set up right here. And uh, you probably won't see anything yet. And if you don't, don't worry. Um, what you can actually do if you're on a Mac is you can type Option plus E. And you're going to get the command prompt. And this is where you can uh, set up a few things. I think it's best to just not have any two themes on at once. It's best to just kind of keep it at one. So I just keep that off and I just make sure that, you know, um, let's have bracketed links. I think that would look cool. Um, let's go with the cherry cola theme. And then you'll see here that this is conflicting uh, theme uh, between Gamish and cherry cola. They're, they're conflicting themes essentially. So you have to choose which one you want to turn off. So we're going to turn that off. Let's add the word counter as well. And once you're done, you just want to hit option E and you're not going to see your changes happen immediately. What you have to do first, you have to just close notion. And if you get this black screen, um, all you have to do is right click uh, or double click if you're on a Mac and hit quit on notion and then just reopen it. And once it reopens, you'll see that your changes are reflected. So I've got this true uh, dark theme here. I've got um, my word counters here, which is very neat. If I wanted to type and then add a link, let's say to my YouTube, let's just go, it would bracket it just like that. Um, that's another uh, stylistic change that's been added. And actually this is a change that looks like is kind of an homage to the um, Rome app, which is kind of neat. So you can kind of get that Rome look as well if you'd like to. And you can click into there and it will take you to uh, this should my YouTube channel. Awesome. If you guys haven't yet, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. But essentially, that's how you install the Notion Enhancer. And that's kind of how you use it. Um, you know, you can always just hit option E if you want to go back and change some of these things. This one's simple. It's kind of like got that true dark look to it, which I like a lot. So, and I really like how the tags look with this particular theme. All the links for the Notion Enhancer will be linked below in the description. And if you need to, you can always watch this back, play it at a slower pace and get a better idea of how to 
uh, use the Notion Enhancer. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And if it was, please leave a like, please subscribe because I upload Notion videos all the time that I know you'll love. With that said, we'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you enjoyed.